In this tutorial, I'll show you different ways to incorporate circles into object geometry. We'll go through five methods and I'll guide you through each one. So let's dive in and get started. First method, splines, will be useful if you need to create simple geometry, for example, opening for ceiling spots. I have create rectangle, but it can be a line, circle or any other shape. An important condition, the line must be closed. After you create your main line for ceiling, you'll need another line, circles, to create opening. So I'll create circle. If you need to place it in the center of the object, you can use align tool. So I can press Alt A and then select rectangle. And my geometry circle will be in the center of the other object. So center, center, all coordinates. Okay, after that, I'll need to convert my circle to a readable spline. So right click, convert to a readable spline. Next, I need to make them as one object. So circle, attach, rectangle, turn off attach. Next, I can apply extrude modifier and we got our opening. If you need more of their circles for your spots, you also can do that. If you return to editable spline and go to spline, select your circle, you can change size if you need to, move it, and then create copy with help of shift. Then select and make more of the copies with help of shift again. And you'll get such geometry. Next methods will be helpful if you work with more complex modeling. Second method, geopoly. For that, we'll need geometry, for example, box. Then you'll need to convert to editable poly. So right click convert to editable poly. And we'll need to add more loops here. So I switch to edge, select all horizontal edges, and then I'll do connect. I need three more loops here. Okay. And then I need to select all vertical edges and do one more time connect. Also for three more loops. If you want to create opening, you can select both top and bottom polygons. So you can switch to top view, go to polygon, select middle polygons. So you select top and bottom ones, and then just delete them. After that, switch to border, control A to select all borders. It's not closed geometry. And then close it with help of cap. Next, switch to polygon and you'll need ribbon panel. If you don't have it, then you can find it in toolbar. Right click, ribbon. Next, we can select polygon, top and bottom and do geopoly. And we got our circle. After that, you can do bridge and you will got your opening. Next, you can do some modifier in the modeling. So for example, I can add chamfer. If you need to get rid of vertical chamfer because after turbo smooth it won't be smooth so you can go to chamfer and increase mean angle till it will disappear now it's good we don't have double lines here because of chamfer and i can apply turbo smooth and we got way more smoother geometry also i can add one more iteration to make it even more perfect third method vertex and chamfer i'll select my box it's already converted to editable poly. And I'll do very similar stuff that I have done in previous variants. So I'll go to edge, select one ring, so all horizontal lines, and I'll do connect, but only one. And we'll do the same for vertical. So I'll select them all and connect. Next, I'll go to vertex, I'll select only one top vertex. And now I can do chamfer. So I can increase amount. And now I need to make it more rounded. So I can change this parameter to make it more rounded. And if you need to make it even more rounded before Turbo Smooth, for example, if you don't need to apply it, then you can change amount of segments. But I'll stay with one. Okay. Next, I can select my polygons. And I can do opening. Since I don't have same geometry on the bottom, I still can do opening, but only if you're using version 2024 or higher. In this case, you can do bridge with hot key and it will work perfectly fine. I can activate my move tool, then shift, navigate to coordinate, Z, and just drag it. And we got our opening. Next, we can apply chamfer, increase mean angle, and we can apply turbo smooth. But you can see that geometry is not very accurate. And the most important thing for modeling is 
mash. So mash always have to be very, very accurate, clear and nice. Otherwise, your model won't look nice on the render. So I'll go back to editable poly and we need to add more edges here. I can do it with help of cut. So I need to activate my snap. Also, if you right click on snap, I have here vertex and midpoint will be very useful in this case. So snap three and now I can do cut. So you can see that it snap exactly in the middle between vertex. And we can cut all over our geometry. Right click every time when you need to finish your cut. Also, we need to do it on bottom as well. So you can use cut or also you can use here connect. So if you go to vertex, select this point and this one and click connect, it will also create line here. So one way or another, you can use connect or you can use cut. Both variants works pretty well. Exit cut and now we can return to chamfer and turbo smooth. Add more iterations and we got perfect circle here. Force method cut. To create circle and geometry, we can simply use cut tool. To do this accurately, you can use a stencil for the shape you need, whether it's a circle or any other pattern. So I'm going to create here cylinder. So if you want to cut on top, then make sure that your cylinder higher than your main geometry. Otherwise, you will draw on the bottom part. Also, we can do it and centralize our object to our box. So I'll select cylinder first, then Alt A and click on box, centralize it. OK, and now I can select box. Go to Modify tab, convert to editable poly. You can select edge or vertex or polygon, doesn't really matter. Cut will work for every single part. So cut, activate snap, and now you can do cut by all these points. Right click to finish it, exit edges. I don't need cylinder anymore, so I can delete it. And we got our pattern. Now we need to modify our geometry and you can do opening or you can do extrude with your object so anything is possible but we need to customize our mesh so i'll do another cuts here first middle part would be nicer And last one, uh, this line we definitely don't need. So I can exit cut, go to edge, select it. And with control backspace, I'll delete it. If you will be deleted just with backspace or remove, then when you will switch to vertex, then there will be extra vertex that you don't need. So make sure that you don't have any vertices. If you do have, then just remove them. You can select them and press remove or control backspace as well. If you need to create same geometry on the bottom, you can do cuts. But since we didn't do uh, this part, but before that, I would centralize my pivot. So you can go to hierarchy, affect pivot only and center to the object, exit, and then you can do symmetry by a Z coordinate only. And now we got our symmetry on the bottom as well. After that, you can convert your object to a editable poly and continue modify your object. So for instance, we can go to polygon and do some extrudes, maybe for both of the ways. So I can do some extrude here. Then I can do some bevel, for example. And then make a bit more accurate geometry before turbo smooth. So I can add some insert. And get rid of some of the mesh here. So I can go to edge, select one and with control another one, but this one. And then you can click this button to select every second edge and then control backspace to remove them. So I can exit editable poly. We can apply chamfer. I'll increase mean angle. Not that much because I want to keep some lines here. For example, we can increase amount a little bit and then I can apply turbo smooth. Increase iterations and it looks good. And last fifth method, Boolean, but not the old version. 
but boolean modifier that appear in 2024 version and higher you can find it in modify like so for that i'll also need cylinder so i'll create it centralize it with help of align tool alt a if you need to create opening then cylinder have to go across of your geometry if you doesn't need to create opening and just a little deeper then it can go not that low but i'm going to create opening so next i'm going to select my box go to modify list and search for boolean now i'll need subtract and i can select my cylinder important thing that boolean will keep all the edges that had your geometry inside of the object that you subtract if you don't need that then you can go to cylinder here and you can select it and get rid of high segments and it will be more clear then you can return to boolean and here is a cool thing about this boolean that you can move your cylinder wherever you want so you can go to operands if you open boolean then you can move your cylinder so select it and then you can move it i don't need snap so i'll turn off so it can be there there and you can place it wherever you want so for example like that we can keep it and after that when you're satisfied with this opening you can convert to dedible poly and you will keep only box part without cylinder so you can convert to dedible poly and here we go we got our opening but still we need to work with mesh to make it accurate because if you apply even chamfer and then turbo smooth you can see you will got such a disaster so we need to add some cut to make geometry more accurate so i'll delete turbo smooth chamfer and we'll do some cuts again snap here middle point only here but i can move it with the help of vertex i don't need cut anymore so i'll turn off select it and with snap i can move it and then i need another cut here turn off and move this point and middle part as well for rest of the part we also can do symmetry for this side for a bottom part so no need to do all the cuts all over geometry if it's all symmetrical so i can turn off cut i can exit vertex go to here i have a pivot only center the object turn off affect pivot only and then i'll use symmetry so symmetry we can use by x coordinate but you can see that it's symmetry this part but not the one that we cut it so we need to click flip and now it's correct next i can do with uh, z coordinate to make symmetry on the bottom part here we go and also we can do symmetry for this part as well so we will have opening here so i can activate y coordinate and again it's symmetry another part so i can click flip and we'll got our opening next we can convert to a double poly and do rest of the steps so chamfer increase mean angle and turbo smooth two iterations and we got our geometry if it's too many lines here you always can delete some so i can select this one with double click and control backspace and we'll got it more accurate so that's how you can create circles in geometry each method works for different situations so try them and select the one that best fits to your specific modeling needs let me know in the comments which way you like the most